You know what's gonna happen? I'll tell you. First week, be all over the news every night, boom, boom. Second week, guys who sell cars can't sell cars because the cars ain't coming in off the ships. They get laid off. Third week, malls start closing down. They can't get the goods from China. They can't sell clothes. They can't do this. Everything in the United States comes on a ship. They go out of business. Construction workers get laid off because the materials aren't coming in. The steel's not coming in. The lumber's not coming in. They lose their job. Everybody's hating the longshoremen now. Now, pay attention to what he's saying. Uh, pay attention to what he's saying is not coming in, and then we're going to start looking at some of the companies that are going to be mostly affected. Listen to those commodities. Because now they realize how important our jobs are. Now I have the president screaming at me. I'm putting a Taff Hartley on you. Go ahead. Taff Hartley means I have to go back to work for 90 days. That's a cooling off period. Do you think when I go back for 90 days, those men are going to go to work on that pier? It's going to cost the money, the company's money to pay their salaries. Well, they go one from 30 moves an hour, maybe to eight. They're going to be like this. Who's going to win here in the long run? You're better off sitting down and let's get a contract and let's move on with this world. And in today's world, I'll cripple you. I will cripple you and you have no idea what that means. Nobody does. All right, so I'll cripple you. All right, so he's not playing around. This was from three weeks ago, this interview, obviously, uh, three weeks ago. Uh, the Taft Harley Hartley obviously didn't go into effect because if it would have went into effect, the strike wouldn't have uh, went into effect uh, at midnight last night. For those that don't know, Taft Hartley is basically a cooling down period, which forces uh the 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 laborers to go back to work for 90 days like a cooling down period but what's going to happen if he decides to invoke that which he recently said he wasn't getting involved i'm not going to get into politics i know the election is 30 days away i've talked about politics this election is kind of touchy it's a lot of emotional people that vote off emotions and identity politics and stuff like that so i'm not going to touch the election but Biden did say that he was not going to get involved. Now, how long is this going to play out? Who knows? He may eventually have to invoke the Taft Hartley and force these guys back to work. Now, let's say he does do that. Based on what he's saying, whatever their productivity level was on a normal day is going to get reduced drastically so if they're producing let's say 30 containers an hour it's going to go down drastically let's say down to a third so there's still going to be some sort of uh supply chain uh disruption all right so now this affects the east coast right it affects the east coast um some of the main things that come through those ports are um fruits uh primarily bananas through the port of uh delaware you got a lot of apparel, shoes, auto parts, a um, lot of furniture, right? Um, and a lot of like a raw materials like lumber, uh, things like that. All right, now there are some major companies affected. Now, I know a lot of you people are like, man, this is happening right, <laughs> right in the beginning of, you know, your, 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 your peak season. But let, let's look at these companies <laughs> that are affected and then we'll go from there so we can see what lanes will be affected the most and how you can prevent it and what's going to happen our rates going to go up because of it our rates going to go down because of it how you should move your truck so on and so forth all right so boom these are the top companies that are going to be exposed due to this strike all right number one being walmart Walmart sells a lot of apparel, right? Shoes, clothes, accessories, a lot of the stuff. More than 50% of the uh, shoes, clothing, and apparel accessories that are sold in the United States that come from overseas come through those ports on the East Coast, all right? Walmart also sells grocery, so a lot of the fruits that come through those ports as well. Ikea, 
furniture is going to be affected. A lot of furniture comes through those ports. All right, Samsung, appliances. All right, we can put that in the furniture category. Bob's, furniture, LG, furniture, Home Depot. You got a lot of your, your raw materials, um, wood, lumber, like he said. Another raw material that comes through those ports a lot is cotton, um, Home Depot. Your raw materials, Continental Tires, auto parts. All right, a lot of auto parts and automobiles come through those East Coast ports. So Continental Tire, Hyundai, Dollar General, all right, apparel accessories, all right. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? General Motors, auto, auto parts, um, Amazon, uh, apparel, accessories, shoes, all right. Uh, Folgers, an another commodity that comes through those, those ports is a lot of coffee. Um, Raymore's furniture, furniture, obviously we know tires for auto parts. So good years affected Michelin, Heineken, Pepsi. All right. So boom. Now for the guys that are running final mile, there's a possibility if you're running big and bulky final mile, there's a possibility depending on how long this goes that you could be directly affected. Obviously Amazon. You're going to be affected. Now, here's the thing about Amazon going into peak season. I haven't done any peak season content, right? And I, I, I the reason why I haven't done it is for the same reason I kind of prolong doing this. I could have did this last night. I could have did it this morning. But I'm waiting to see somebody else talk about it because I want to I want to see how other people articulate pizza. That I've forecasted it for the past few years. I want to see somebody else do it. All right? A lot of the peak season freight that comes i've taught people how to forecast peak season the past two years it comes the same way these products come all right except the difference is a lot of the peak season stuff was arriving july august september so a lot of the commodities that you would move during peak season should be here already all right so will it affect peak season somewhat yes but then again no a lot of the stuff that's going to be sold uh for amazon on um prime day next week is obviously that stuff is already here oh, yeah. all right so if you're running final mile big and bulky big possibility if this thing goes on for a couple weeks that you're going to see a shortage of freight so you may get to the dock you may be used to 12 to 13 stops and then you may get there and it may be 10 and then it may be eight and then it may be seven and then it may be six and then it may be to the point where they say, you know what, it's not it's not that much. And then what they're going to do is they're going to add a stop on to the people who are higher up in the seniority that have room on their trucks and they're going to get that freight. And if you're on the lower end of the seniority, they're going to say, listen, we ain't got no freight for you today. All right. Those guys that got tire routes. Obviously, if this thing continues to go on, it will eventually affect you. All right. Now, there's a lag in trucking. All right. So the shit just happened tonight at midnight. So there's, a, there's tons of freight that's already in transit, intermodal, already on trucks that are moving and shaking. All right. The thing just, just happened today. So there's a lag. All right. The lag for you to start filling it is probably going to be about three maybe four weeks all right so right around the end of october is when you'll start filling it so if you're running a tire route if this thing continues to go on if uh president biden doesn't um enact the taft hartley act of uh 1947 to kind of force these guys back to work for for 90 days while things get figured out then you'll you'll see a, a decline and freight and even if he does force them to go back the productivity level is not going to be there so there still will be a decline in freight so right now we got furniture guys right so you're big and bulky <clears throat> we got your tire guys your amazon guys yes you will be affected you will be affected amazon sells a lot of these commodities all right um your, 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 your prime day stuff is already here. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Mark is telling you the stuff for prime day is already here. It's been here. Most of your peak season stuff, a big majority of it is already here and in place where 
it needs to be. But this stuff that's funneling in now, this would be the stuff that you'd probably see being pushed out in December, right? Because there's a lag. This stuff has to go through the supply chain. It gets picked up at a port. I mean, it, gets, it comes to a port, gets picked up at a port by a truck. A lot of the times it goes to a rail. It runs intermodal, which is a slower way of it getting across the country, right? And then it gets picked up from a truck, and then it gets taken to a terminal, and it gets taken to a final mile facility, and then it gets distributed to a store. It goes straight from wherever the fulfillment is to the consumer's doorstep all right so i think you're good for october i think you're good for november december if this thing continues to go on then you may see uh amazon uh 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 get affected walmart walmart um same situation i think for the most part your peak season stuff is here all right, now that that December freight, this could affect that December freight. But I think your no your October shoppers, your November shoppers, your Black Friday is what's going to deplete a lot of that inventory that has come over through those ships for peak season that started coming over in July, August, and September. And then this would be the freight that will replenish that in December. So if this thing continues to go on. That lag that I talk about, that lag will catch up sometime at around December, and you'll feel it. Uh, truckers, you'll start to feel this probably within the next four weeks. 